Good morning. I'm Cindy Nicholson, the Care and Prayer Coordinator at Mayfield Church. And today's devotion is, I'm going to start out by asking a question. What has your God done? And I'd like to share a few things that, to answer that question for myself. In this past summer, I was at Lake Erie, and I had the um, privilege of seeing two eagles soaring in the sky, uh, really high up, and uh, just effortlessly flying and uh, gliding and going back and forth and the two of them it was like a dance and as this dance continued I watched and I watched for about 10 minutes and I was just in awe at looking at them and they were so high up I couldn't get a picture but how did I know they were eagles well when they turned a certain way their heads and their tails it just glistened and it was just like wow you know and uh, as the day or as uh, time went on, I was thinking about a Bible verse. And the Bible verse that I thought of was in Isaiah 40 31. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles, and they shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. So now I want to fast forward mm -hmm. and uh, a few days. And turning my computer on and as as you turn your computer on you know that uh, there's pictures that come up well there was this picture and it was of a rock and it looked like an eagle so it brought me back to thinking of these eagles and the day that I was able to to watch them flying around up in the sky and I'm thinking where is this rock and so I, I clicked on there to read more about it's in Africa and so I did a little more research and I started thinking, you know, this, how could the Lord make this rock? How could he sculpt it? He used what? Um, the wind? He used the elements? And how many years did it take to sculpt this rock and to make it look like an eagle? And you have to admit, when you look at it, you think of an eagle. Um, but that brought to uh, mind another verse. And that's Matthew 16, 18, that you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. So I'm seeing that the Lord did here with this sculpture. And I'm just sort of thinking about his church and how he builds things, how he makes things, and how long it takes, and um, daily, daily happenings um, add to the sculpting. Uh, so a few days later, I want to go back and I want to look at this picture. So I pulled up um, Eagle Rock on uh, Google and this other picture appears. And it's like, wow, where is this rock from? And this rock I found out was uh, in California. It's totally different shape, totally um, nothing like the first one. But yet you think of an eagle. And it, too, is called Eagle Rock. <laughs> it's like, okay, here's uh, Africa, and here's California, and here's me. And it all has to do with eagles and uh, thinking about the Lord and stuff. So I'm in Mentor, and God's working in my heart. The Lord's been working in Africa on this rock, and he's also been working in California on this other rock. And wants me to realize he can do mighty things but um so i go back to the question what has your god done how is he sculpting his church how is he sculpting you ask for a glimpse of his work and be amazed and maybe ask him how a king can be born in a manger so that's my devotion i hope you enjoyed it have a great day, and don't forget to share what the Lord shows you. Okay, bye.